Hi folks, in this video I will try to explain how to drive on the German Autobahn. I often hear that foreign drivers think that German drivers are aggressive drivers. But that's not exactly true. Traffic in Germany is fast. But that's only how the traffic here works. German drivers only become aggressive when the traffic flow is disturbed by someone not following the common rules. And in course of the missing speed limit, the German Autobahn is pretty different from all other highways around the world. So, when you are on the Autobahn, you must know how to drive by these rules specific to the Autobahn. Because by not knowing them, a little mistake could not only cause a traffic jam, but you risk your life and the others around you. So I will try to explain how the Autobahn works in Germany by using the 10 most important rules. Let's start with the most dangerous mistake on the Autobahn. Passing on the right sounds easy and is normal around the world. So why is it absolutely prohibited on every street outside of cities in Germany? German drivers will not expect to get passed on the right. This could cause an accident. Slower vehicles will also stay in the right lanes, and the left lane is always traveling faster than the right lane. You see, you risk your own life and all around you if you pass on the right. You will also get a ticket for passing on the right, and if you cause a fatal accident, you could go to jail for it. As a conclusion for the first rule, never, 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 10 billion times never pass on the right. There are only two exceptions of this rule. If you are in a traffic jam and the left lane is driving below 60 kph, it's allowed to drive on the right lane 20 kph faster than the left lane. The second exception is the acceleration lane when you enter the autobahn. Push the pedal down speed up and enter the autobahn without interrupting the flow of traffic. The next rule is directly related to the rule we just had. The only travel lane on the autobahn is the right lane. All other lanes are only for passing. If you have passed a slower vehicle, go back to the right lane and stay there until you pass the next slower vehicle. Often you see foreign drivers that stay in the left lanes for kilometers and ride behind them a long row of cars that want to speed up. That's one of the easiest ways to make German drivers aggressive. On the Autobahn you have to learn to estimate distances and speed differences. At home you are used to a speed limit and that every car is driving the same speed. So when you look into your mirrors and the other car is 50 meters away, it's enough distance to use the other lane. In Germany the car you see in your mirrors could be traveling much faster than you. This could cause a bad accident when the car is too close to you and you merge over. Always double check your mirrors. Remember that even 150 meters couldn't be enough distance between you and the faster car. The other car could be traveling twice as fast as you, or even more. Passing other cars in Germany is a little bit different than you are used to. Passing other cars is divided into four steps. Look into your mirrors and check for other cars in the left lane. If the left lane is clear, turn on your indicators. Look into your mirrors again and check that the left lane is still clear. Change the lane. After you have passed the slower vehicle, look to the second rule, move back to the right lane and keep the left lane free for faster cars. Passing slower vehicles must be done as fast as possible. The minimum speed difference between you and the slower vehicle is 30 kph. That's a law. So, if you want to pass a truck, for example, that drives 90 kph, you must speed up to a minimum of 120 kph. 
you should never force the left lane to break when you merge over. If you see a fast car coming up, just wait and let him pass. It will take you only seconds and not worth risking an accident. If you want to change lanes, the vehicle in the lane is always right. It's your responsibility to merge. No one has to let you in and you are not allowed to disturb the vehicles in the lane. Remember, you have mirrors on your car. Use them. On the Autobahn you have to hold a minimum safety distance to the vehicle in front of you. You have to hold a minimum distance that equation is 50% of your speed in meters. The minimum safety distance is also called the 2 second distance. You can also take a point of reference like a shadow of a bridge or a traffic sign and when the vehicle in front of you passes that point, say 21, 22. If you reach the same point after you say 22, your distance is right. If you could only say 21, then you are too close to the vehicle. Slow down to reach the needed distance. Lastly, never merge into the safety distance of another vehicle when you change lanes. This is dangerous. You will cause the other vehicle to slam on brakes and the vehicle behind him too. That could cause a traffic jam or an accident. Yes, there are speed limits on the Autobahn. Yes, it's true that there is only a recommended speed limit of 130 kph on the Autobahn. But there are many local speed limits on the Autobahn. They are given by traffic signs. Find them and follow them. The Autobahn is a public street, not your personal racetrack. If you are not used to it, driving fast could be addicting. Try to keep cool. If you spend your time watching your speedo, then you are risking your life. Driving fast is much more than only keeping the pedal to the metal. Never drive faster than you feel comfortable. If your car breaks down. First, turn on your hazard lights. Second, if you can reach an exit or a rest area, leave the autobahn. Third, if you cannot leave the autobahn, pull over to the right service lane. Fourth, place your warning triangle 200 meters behind your car. Call for help from your mobile phone or the SOS phones in the orange boxes every 500 meters. Go behind the barrier and wait for help. Don't start a repair on the service lane. It's very dangerous and not legal. At last, never run out of fuel. There are really enough fuel stations on and around the Autobahn. If you see your vehicle is low on fuel, use your navigation system and get to the next fuel station. Running out of fuel on the Autobahn is prohibited and you will get a ticket. Never back up on the Autobahn. Sometimes you see a foreign driver that misses his exit and stop on the service lane and then try to back up into his exit. Don't do this. It's dangerous and prohibited. The other cars that take this exit will be traveling within 80 to 100 kph until they need to break in the curve. This could cause an accident and you will get a ticket for backing up on the Autobahn. Drive to the next exit and then take the other direction back and take the exit you previously wanted. I hope I could help you to understand how the traffic on the Autobahn works. And when the next aggressive German driver is behind you, remember this little video. Maybe the reason for the aggression is in your car. Behind the steering wheel. Bye bye.